Hi everybody, it's me, Jared, again, and I'm back again for another vlog. Shit, it's not a vlog. Hi everybody, Jared here, and I'm back- Fuck. Hey everybody, JP here, and welcome back to another podcast. It is time to get rolling right away. Remember the last episode I said there's not a way to start it because we were talking about my life issues, and it was sad, and surprise, we have another sad one today, and it's going to suck so much. So instead of today, uh, yesterday, I had, well, not last today, but last time I recorded, I had water. This time, I got Gatorade. I know you didn't see, you don't see it, but that's the Gatorade. I'm smashing it on the, on the table. <laughs> um... A few things here before I begin. Uh, this might be a little bit long. Again, as I said before, I might cut it into two parts, but if I do not, I hope you guys enjoyed this longer vlog. Um, also, the 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 also um, I got a good uh, response from the first vlog. Not, fuck, not a vlog. Ugh. I got a good response from the uh, from the first podcast, so I thought I'd do another one. And uh, so yeah, here we go. Today's topic will be on rejection. Re re rejection. Yes, that that's the word. Rejection. I, I have a little notepad that has the word rejection on it. Okay, I have a few things we're going to be talking about today. Different kinds of rejection and um, a few videos to go along with rejection because uh, we, uh, there's actually a new video trending on YouTube. Uh, it's from Domix. It's rejection. I'm going to show a little bit of that in a second, maybe in a few minutes or so. But I'm just going to get down to a few things about rejection and how it sucks and how we have to live through it. It's a life process. So, um... I'm just gonna, I'm gonna start off with love, because that's the first rejection we think about. When you see a pretty girl, you're, you're gonna be like, hey, what's up, bae? That's not what you're gonna say, because that's uncool, and that's not, that's not manly. But let's just say I said, what's up, bae? And they're gonna be like, ew, gross, chubby kid, get away. That's rejection. And yes, it sucks. Yes, you have to live with it. And what are we gonna do about it? You can fix yourself, but that's, how are you gonna do that? The best thing about love, the best thing about being yourself is, no, okay. The best thing about love, the best thing about not being rejected is being yourself. You don't want to be someone else and be accepted. I'd rather be myself and get rejected than be someone else and be accepted. Okay, let's just get that out of the way. Now, I said in the last podcast how I went through a few things and um, I went through a couple of things and uh, I got rejected and yeah, it sucks. And I, I'm here as a senior in high school and I don't know what to do. Um, but, uh, um, yeah, I, I was, I was lost, and I'm hoping that after high school I can go to college, and, uh, you know, things in life, it doesn't go out the way you expect, because when you're a little kid, you know, you're sitting down in elementary, and you're like, when I'm in high school, I'm gonna get a girlfriend, and we're gonna live together happy forever after, I'm gonna get a great job, I'm gonna go to college, get education, Unless when you're little, you don't, you don't even think about college, you just think about high school. And if you're a guy, you probably think about girls. Either way. No matter what, you always have a mindset. No matter what your age is. And the thing we have to go through is rejection. And yes, it sucks, but it is, as I said before, a part of life. Now, um... Recently, I talked about a girl that I did like this year. And, um... I'm gonna show you this form of rejection, and it does suck, but I feel as if this, a few clips from this video, uh, it, it's gonna, uh, it's definitely going to kind of direct where I, where I'm going with this. So, remember, this is the love part of rejection, uh, for me. Remember, um, I didn't say this before the video started, but this is all personal podcasts. Not all of them are, but these ones are going to be personal. So... I'm going to turn it over to YouTubes, and I'm going to show you guys a few clips. Um, I'm going to show you the first clip I have. It is called My First Date. Um, the, the the creator is uh, Wong Fu Productions. I'm going to leave a little watermark on the bottom left of the screen so you guys can see who this video is from. And all the work, all the credit goes to him before I show this. Um, in fact, I'm probably not going to monetize this video because that would be a wrong of me. So yeah, enjoy this and awesome video, by the way, bro. I don't think most girls understand how terrifying it is at that age to ask a girl out. I was still watching Pokemon. You expect me to know how to woo a girl? Come on. It all came down to the very end of the day. I pushed it to the very end. This was it. I found her at her locker. I finally asked her to homecoming. And then... She says no. Well, not exactly a flat out no. She actually said, I don't know if I'm gonna go, so you should just ask someone else, okay? What a cop out. I took it like a champ though, played it off cool, but inside I was dying. 
She even said that she'd help me find someone else to ask. Wow, thanks? Unfortunately, this is not where the story ends. See, I did end up asking someone else, another girl who I was friends with, and she was a great date. We had an awesome time, I think. I mean, I bought the ticks, got her a corsage, went to dinner, and it was off to the dance. And who do I see there? Tanya. And no, she's not with someone else. She's by herself. She'd rather go alone than go with me. A non-date trumped me. Air was better company than me. I was crushed, and she looked like she was enjoying herself. Alright, so the reason I showed that video was a few reasons. Number one, this has happened to multiple people. I have friends who have been denied a request. I don't have that many friends, but the friends I do have... <laughs> that was terrible for me to say. The friends that I did have that had that problem, it kind of sucked for them. And, uh, um, you know... It's hard to be there for friends when they're going through that kind of stuff, but things like that happen, and it happened to me. Um, it happened this year, and, um, you know, that description of air is a better date than me, that's sometimes things that you will feel when going through rejection. Now, I feel like a freaking pastor talking to a choir here, but, um, I mean, I have to, I just want to talk about rejection because it's something that everyone goes through and it's something that you have to strive over. So that was the first type of rejection. Now, there's a new video from Domix that came out, I think it was yesterday, maybe two days ago. And I'm just going to show that video right now as well. Um, because this is another type of rejection and it's not just about love. This is a different rejection that we all have to get used to. Whether it be job rejection, whether it be college rejection, whether it be love, as I said before. So, here comes the next type of rejection. Uh, this video goes to Domix, as I said before. And credit to him. Awesome video, bro. And, yeah, whatever. So, yeah. Here's the next video. Rejection is an everyday part of our lives, and it sucks. We as humans are raised to get used to disappointment, and many of our actions are determined by our level of fear of being rejected. Phone fingerprint sensor. Rejected University Application But I think that's the point. Nothing comes easy. Even when you work hard to achieve what you desire, you're not always rewarded accordingly. Get used to disappointment, but don't yield to it. And by that, I don't mean to keep pursuing the barista girl even after she's told you she has a boyfriend. Take the rejection, all forms of it, not as a failure, but as an experience to prepare you for the next one. Which, who knows, might not end up being another rejection. Okay, you've seen both those videos, and you would be wondering, Okay, what does that have to do with me? What does that have to do with you? Um, this is personal, and I really, really hate saying this, but we're gonna get sad here, um, for myself, and depression, and everything that happens in my life, and something that happened to me yesterday. I got a letter back from my number one college, Oswego, and they declined me. I hate saying that. I, when I read it, I was heartbroken. I even started to cry. I hate saying that, my man, but I was upset. That was my number one college. Here I am sitting down at my bed, having everything settled in my life. Here I am having gone through high school with rejection. I thought, okay, maybe it's all done. Maybe I'm ready to take the next step in going into college. And now the plan I had for going into college is gone. It's gone now because I had... The number one college that was perfect for me, the perfect description of what I wanted to do was from that university. and Not university, but the state school. And I just wanted to go there. But now, I've been rejected. And here I am, sitting down here, making this video, confused on what to do. But as Domic said in his video, get used to disappointment, but don't yield. What that is saying is, if you get rejected, don't just sit there. Do something about it. What am I going to do? I've been rejected from my number one college, but I had two other choices. My two other choices was Plattsburgh, Plattsburgh State and also Oneana. Places that are not too far from New York, because I'm from central upstate New York. Places that aren't far from where I want to go. If I can do good in college, I can go back to Oneana. But the question is, do I want to go there now? 
Should I stop? Should I not go there and be like, if I, if you don't want me, and if I'm not good enough for you, should I even go to you again if, if I'm good next year? And the problem is, is that when you look at an application in college, they look at your grades, and if they're not good enough, they'll just throw you right away. What colleges looked for, and what colleges really want, colleges want a special talent. And the problem we have today in our society is that you will never find that special talent because most of those special talents are buried because of the grade system. If your grades are not good enough for a college application, they're gonna throw you out right away. I'm being perfectly honest, and, it, and look at me. I was an 85, 84 overall average student. My number one problem was the one course that was hard for me in, in school mattered to colleges, trigonometry. Algebra 2 Common Core, I had a low grade. I didn't have that 85. I had, like a, I had a low 70, like a 72. And yes, colleges saw that, and they're probably like, I don't know. I, I mean, let's just take a kid who just, let, let's just forget about his letters of recommendation. Let's just forget about everything else. Let's forget about the essay. This kid does not have the grades necessary for college. There are exceptions, and I thought I could have been that exception, but... I don't mean for this video to be super salty because I hate sounding that way, but I've done multiple things this year that just showed the motivation I had for the career I want to get into. Um, where I where I come from, we actually filled an entire bus with food. I made a video. We were trying to get Jimmy Fallon to come to our school. Um, it didn't happen, but at least I, I, I worked hours and hours upon hours on that video. For it to only, I mean, it got a few hundred views. That was great. Thank you, everyone who watched it. Thank you all who donated. Yes, that video was for fun. That's that video was for charity. I was being great at school for that video, but um, the thing is, I work hard at what I do. I'm very motivated between that kind of. I'm, I'm motivated for broadcasting. I love talking about sports. I love talking about just helping people. This is the stuff that I know how to do. I love helping people with that kind of stuff. Um. So when it comes to broadcasting, I would love to get into that field because it's, it's just something that I like to talk about. I like talking to a microphone for a long time, even though I, my, my voice gets dried out after a while. I just, I just, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm just, I feel good about that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah. So what do I do now? Um, my next, my next thing in life, I'm going to go to either Plattsburgh or Oneana or even a community college, and show that college that I was appropriate for your program. In fact, I was on Channel 10 News, a local news station between in the New York State region. I reported for my football team. Even though we lost that game, I was on the news. I wish I had the clip to show you right now. I'm not gonna put it on the. I'm not gonna put it on this uh, podcast because um, I had to record it, and it's gonna delay this entire uploading process, and the video will get outdated. So I'm, I'm just gonna skip that part. But um, I made a video, and it got it got it got on to Channel 10. And uh, I was on the news. People found me whenever I was at work and be like, "Oh, I know you're from the news." And I'm like, "Yes, I am. Thank you for noticing." That dedication that I had, the colleges. I don't know if they saw that. It's hard to find that special talent because of the way colleges look at you. So what do you do if you're a, if you're a student like myself and you're figuring out what the hell do I want to do with my life? Um, just think about not just what what classes you like in school. What do you like to do on your free time? Whether it be making videos, whether it be I don't know cooking, um, any of that stuff. If you enjoy that. And if you like doing that for fun, if you like to waste your minutes, even playing video games, really, you can make a career out of that. I have a few friends who I personally believe went to the wrong field. Um, my friend Mike, he's going to the right field. He loves to cook. That is a perfect field. Yes, it's hard to get into a business like making videos, but if you have that talent, if you have that motivation, why aren't you doing that? I don't have the, I mean, I had the motivation to talk, I had the motivation to make videos, however, I don't have the motivation to, I don't have the motivation to make a video, I don't know what it's about, but when I get that topic, when I have a topic in my head, I will make it immediately. For instance, this video I'm making right now, I thought of this video today, it's the 26th, and I'm uploading it on the 26th. Yes, I'm using my spare time after school to record this video, and to upload it, and to edit it out, because I had that motivation. Will colleges see that? I don't know. And I'm hoping the college that I go to, I want them to know that I am motivated. Because when I'm out of college, you're going to see me, whether it be I'm famous, whether it be I'm not famous, I want them to know I tried my hardest. 
because I am a person who is well motivated. People in school don't know that about me, that how, what I do after school, what I do in my personal time. I sing, I make videos. I know my, my professional singing career will never take off. Obviously it will never. However, I did say, if you have a talent, show it. I guess reality is a standpoint that you have to take. And for singing, I know that's for me. If if my friend Jordan was watching this, he'd be like, "Okay, if if you if you think I if you, if you think one thing, then you should be a singer." And I understand where you're going from that. Um, I guess to be a singer, you also need to be able to read music and do theory, and that's something I never learned. Uh, so that'd be tough, but it'd be cool to learn that kind of stuff. But I know what I want to do now. I know I want to be talking about sports. I want to be talking about the media. I want to be in the I want to be in the new. I want to be in the media. I don't care what kind of form it is, I guess, at this point. As long as I'm in the media, as long as I'm talking, as long as I do what I like to do. Um, this video is actually not as long as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be longer than this. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm not so sure if there's any more to talk about here. Um, besides the fact, I just want to let everyone know that um, rejection is something that we're all going to face in life. Um, but, it's how, but it's how you react to that rejection. And that, that's going to get you places. Um, I want if you like this video, uh, make sure you leave it, give a like, leave a comment, and maybe uh, maybe favorite it. And make sure you subscribe to my channel. You'll be you'll be getting uh, those updates on when I make more podcasts or videos in general. Also, if you see any videos that don't have to do with podcasts that are like out of my video range, it's because I'm making it for school. And remember, every video I make, it's for college. I mean, it's not for college, but it's kind of for a resume thing where it's like I'm making this. I'm pushing this in your face. This is the dedication I have. This is my skill set. I'm just going to push it in your face. However, I, I've mentioned this before, I think, and my skill set is Sony Vegas and broadcasting. And I'm trying to learn Adobe Premiere. It is so hard, by the way. When you when you have spent from 2012 to 2017 on Sony Vegas for five years, it's hard to move to, to a different editing software. You want to do, you want to do, do specific shortcuts that you can't do, and you get really upset about it. And all these new word terms, like instead of splitting clips, it's cutting clips. So it's like everything has changed, the words are changed, and I'm gonna take the rest of this year, whether it be from January to March, January to June, learning a premiere as much as I can. And then when summer comes, when college starts, wherever I'm going, um, I'm gonna have to learn uh, Final Cut for the, for the Mac. I'm getting a Mac for college, so that'll be interesting. Um, by the way, I haven't even been accepted to, to Oneonta yet. So depending how that rejection goes, I may I may get to end up going to Plattsburgh because I don't know if I'm I don't know if I'm a, if I'm, a, if I'm accepted yet. And I guess I could talk for a few more minutes here. I have one more thing to talk about here. Um, remember how I said about that special talent that kids everyone has. Everyone has one special talent, at least one that you like to do in your spare time. When I went to Oneonta, the colleges I want to go to, the one that hasn't accepted me yet, or has, or hasn't even replied yet. I talked to their professors, almost every single one of them in the media, well, the people who teach media. Like, everyone who was there was a professor at that college, so no matter what class I'd have, I would have them in there. So, I talked to every one of them, I asked them questions for like an hour. I talked to the main guy. He's like the person you talk to after your third or fourth year, and I talked to him about how I just, how I make videos on my spare time, and he said, I like your commitment. That's a good commitment you have to have. And I'm like, if some of my friends have better commitment than me by a long shot. You don't even know, man. Um, but I told him that one thing I would, love, I would love to do is do sport broadcasting when I'm older. And that's, and he's like, you know what? Out of, front of me, 10 years, there hasn't really been anybody who wants to do sport broadcasting in Oneana. There have been singers coming out of Oneana. There have been one ESPN analyst, but he actually went in as a history degree, a, a history major. I don't know how the hell you go to ESPN with a history major, but he did. Imagine someone with the confidence, with the motivation to go to ESPN with a mass communication major. That's something great. Now, something I'm also wanting to do in college is make videos about it. Not just vlog my life, but um, I guess maybe help people too. As I said, I like helping people. Now... The, the how I got this motivation for making those kind of videos is actually from a YouTube channel when I was looking at Oswego. Uh, the YouTube channel is called Alyssa, Alyssa Explains It All, and I've actually tweeted this person multiple times. And um, I never told this person I make videos, but I said that I was interested in the school, I was interested in their communication program, and they said, oh, it's a good school. So I'm like, okay. 
maybe if I got accepted, I thought maybe I can continue those videos. And I'm like, well, here's something. Why would you continue videos that already have questions answered? Well, I guess it's to update it, but... I said, you know, maybe if I go to Plattsburgh, if I go to Oneana, I can do the exact same thing. Because there are some kids who want to go to other schools besides Oswego. Oswego is one of the better communication schools in our state. And competitiveness is hard. And going maybe going in as a undeclared would be the better idea. But it didn't work out for me because of that math grade, as, as I said before. That math grade, it really affected... Uh, it would have affected myself if I went in as undeclared. So I, I, just, I made a decision myself to go in declared. So yeah, um, Oneana has a lot of uh, a lot of uh, confidence in my a lot of confidence in me. They they told me that they would allow me to uh, broadcast the sport games and get cameras put up, get replays, replay screens, and all that kind of stuff. And that's and that's an awesome opportunity. And I think if I do go there, I'm definitely gonna have to take a chance and uh, maybe uh, take over that advantage that I'm I'm, I'm getting there. Again, I haven't been accepted yet, but maybe I'll make a video if I do get accepted, and I'll just have, like, a pros and cons for both colleges. I don't know. Um, but, yeah. Again, if you, if you like this video, give it a like. Give me a sub. Do whatever works for you, boo. And after all, uh, you know, life happens. Everything happens for a reason. And uh, if you're going through anything, if you're going through anything, rejection or anything, leave a comment. You can PM me. I have a Twitter uh, at Jared Parator, Jared underscore Parator. You can find me on Twitter. You can find me on Facebook. Uh, actually, you really can't. You can find me on Facebook for my music page. At uh, Actually, it's my Facebook page. It's called JP Music. You can find me there on Facebook. Um, but, yeah. So, alrighty. Um, that's about it for this video. And I'll see you guys next time when I get a new topic. Oh, by the way, if you guys have any topics, please leave them down below. I actually want to... I would like to talk about other stuff, too, besides my life. So, if you give me some topics on down in the description, I love to talk about it. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. My name is JP, and also, uh, have a nice day. <laughs> Bye, guys.